Welcome to the Mommy Zen Podcast with Marianne Clyde. Hi, this is Marianne Clyde, and welcome to another episode of the Mommy Zen Podcast. Our affirmation for today is I am alert and conscious of my impact on others. And my guest today is Kimberly Entrican. Hi, Kimberly. Hi, thanks good for to see joining me again. Thank you very much. You know, we're going to talk a little bit today about etiquette around the holidays. Kimberly is the founder of Tagaloo. It's an organization that teaches, cl has classes and parties and, and all kinds of things that teach etiquette and teach people how to have fun. And etiquette, she tells me, is how to make people feel comfortable around you. So, so I'm glad you're here because the holidays are upon us and there's a, a few times around the holidays when families around in particular where people aren't really great at showing etiquette. And I think as parents, we have to set the example. We can't expect our kids to know how to act if we're acting in an improper way. Now, what, a couple ways you've mentioned your eating etiquette is important since we've got Thanksgiving, we've got Christmas, we've got all the other holidays where people eat. I mean, we kind of graze from, from Halloween to Christmas. Christmas, I think. exactly. And, and so we have to know eating <coughs> etiquette, etiquette, etiquette. And then we have to understand um, shopping etiquette. I mean, who has not been cut off by that person <laughs> pulling into the parking space, the only available parking space? So let's spend a minute or two talking first about eating etiquette. Okay. What, what do kids have to know, or what do parents, or what should parents teach their kids about the importance of eating etiquette? I mean, we don't have, we probably won't use 18 forks and, and spoons, but there are some basics. There are, and I think some of the most important things, and one of the, one of the things that I teach in my class is when to begin eating. And these are things that people may not think of. They may just, again, think of how utensils important. are on the, on the table. But you're, if you're invited to somebody's house, when do you pick up your fork and begin to eat? Mm -hmm. uh, if you're going to your grandparents' house for Thanksgiving, you would wait until your grandmother or grandfather picks his or her fork up and eats. Now, what if grandma is always hovering and never actually sits down? <laughs> well, then at that point, um, maybe you would follow your mother or father's lead, and that's okay. why it's important for us to set examples. Mm -hmm. A lot of times I've seen children just sit down and just start so. eating and then get up from the table. And truly what should happen is you begin eating when your host or hostess begins eating mm -hmm. and you finish eating when you're or you don't leave the table until your host or hostess is finished okay. or the senior person at the table um, another thing to remember you know don't don't chew with your mouth, mouth open, open yeah. now one thing that you can do that a lot of people don't realize is that if you take a bite that's small enough to put on the side of your mouth, mm -hmm. it's okay for you to talk. Mm -hmm. But if you have a mouth full of food, it's actually showing all over your <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> if it's it's <laughs> it is. <laughs> if you're, or even taking a drink. You know, I've seen this happen. And just think about being at a restaurant. And most restaurants have clear glasses. And if you have food in your mouth and you take a drink, you don't want to do that. It's not pretty. It's not pretty. Another thing. Um, the salt and pepper, salt and pepper are best friends. Salt and pepper shakers, they're, yeah. they're BFFs. And okay. I tell everybody okay. that they're best friends forever. So when passing the salt and pepper shaker, they always go together and they always get passed to the right. Everything, oh, no, always, gets, I didn't everything know. always gets passed to the right. Okay. And a lot of times, especially with children, they'll get upset because you have this big basket of rolls. It's going to the right and it gets, maybe before it gets to them, it's empty. Mm -hmm. But think about it this way, that if you, if it's empty two people ahead of you, it's going to come to those two people and you're going to get a fresh roll. There you go. And even if you're at a restaurant, mm -hmm. um, or usually if it's empty at you, mm -hmm. you would get the fresh basket mm -hmm. of rolls. Mm -hmm. So not to worry, you're not going to starve to death. Exactly. If the, if the <laughs> basket of bread is empty, <laughs> you'll be fine. Probably there's more in the kitchen. Exactly. And if there's not, there's mashed potatoes exactly. or something. Okay. Exactly. So always get passed to the right. Everything's always passed to the right. Okay. The other thing that's really important at the holidays or if you're out with a group of friends is, especially if you're at a long table, say it's a long yeah, rectangular okay. table. And it's hard to talk. Ex exactly. You don't yell to the other end of the table, hey, mm -hmm. how was, mm -hmm. how was whatever. Yeah. You, you're responsible for the people who are next to you and the person who's directly across from you. So okay. you have that okay. conversation with those people. 
The other thing, too, to remember um, is if you ever need to excuse yourself from the table. You mm -hmm. don't just get up and leave. Mm -hmm. You excuse yourself with the people, your neighbors, the people who are, mm -hmm. and you don't have to say what you're doing. You don't have to announce, <laughs> I'm now to going to the it. bathroom. <laughs> you know, but exactly. you have to say, I'm going to, I'll be excuse right back. Excuse me, I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. And um, again, it's about, it's about making people around you feel comfortable. If all mm -hmm. of a sudden you get up and go, and people don't know where you are, right. Right. And they'll be a little concerned. Right, right. Um, and hurt. And exactly. You know, and people's feelings get hurt. Another thing that I notice, uh, if anybody puts sugar in a drink, so say it's an iced tea and they mm -hmm. want to add sugar to mm -hmm. it, and you hear the clanking. Yeah. You never want to hear the clanking when you're stirring. So, so you, you stir, stir quietly. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> exactly. Those are great <laughs> tips for Thanksgiving dinner, for Christmas dinner, for mm -hmm. whether it's a buffet even or a, or a, uh, a sit-down meal. More, more likely for a sit-down meal. Absolutely. And the other thing that's really interesting, um, when I received my training, uh, this, this is a true story, uh, talking about buffet meals. Mm -hmm. most, I think most people know that when you go to a buffet mm -hmm. that you use a different plate. Mm -hmm. But there was a, a, basketball, a college basketball player who went to a buffet. And, and kept he, refilling his plate? He actually thought the tray was his plate. <laughs> So, and he didn't know. You, you don't know what you don't know. He had right. never experienced that before. So, yeah. another thing that's really important, I think, for adults is, again, to model, yeah. you know, if you want your children to do certain things, you do you it. You have to do it. Exactly. That's right. That's great advice. And I know we're running out of time, but I, I want to just touch on a few things that are really sure. important to remember as we're doing Christmas shopping or holiday shopping. What, what would you say are the top three things that people... Uh, should do that they don't? One of the things is to be prepared. Um, in what way? Be prepared in, you have your Christmas list. Be prepared if you're in a really long line, have your money ready. Okay. Or your, if you're using a credit card, if you're writing a check, have that ready so that when it's your turn to pay, mm -hmm. you're prepared. Mm -hmm. Another thing is put your cell phone away. Uh, one thing that's really important, I don't know if you ever go to a mall and you can hear everybody's conversation. What really should happen is that you're 10 feet away from everybody, so not everyone can hear that okay, conversation. Okay. If you have to bring small children, make sure that they've had a nap, that they have eaten, um, because how many times have you gone to the mall and <laughs> kids are <laughs> screaming? Right, right. Uh, another and they're not, the, the important thing to remember is that Kids aren't intentionally bad. Exactly. They, they usually are hungry or tired right. or uncomfortable or scared or something like so that. So it's our responsibility right. to have them prepared. I mean, they okay. don't know that we're preparing them for a day of shopping, but right. it's our responsibility to, to do that. And, right. and even at a restaurant, if your child is, is crying, maybe remove yourself for mm -hmm. a little bit. And, yeah. so and you don't have to punish. No. But removing the kid, they're in an uncomfortable situation. And, Absolutely. And you Etiquette is all about making <laughs> your person comfortable around you, and that includes your kids, I think. Yes. And that's important for parents to keep in mind. Well, and, and the other thing is to realize that when you are shopping and your child has gotten to that point, mm -hmm. then maybe your day's over. Mm -hmm. Maybe your day's over mm -hmm. and you just need to come back at another time because right. it isn't fair to the child right. to keep on going. And it is frustrating. We have a lot to do. We have a lot mm -hmm. of obligations. We have, li have limited time. But relationships, I think, should always trump tasks or electronics or, you know, if, if we can keep that in mind, I think it's really, really a, an important thing to do is that your relationship with your kids is more important. Mm -hmm. And just take a deep breath. There you go. There <laughs> I mean, you that's go. That's, I do that a lot. That's my mommy's hand <laughs> thing. Exactly. This is just, just breathe. breathe. <laughs> and it's going to be okay. But right. really just being aware of what's going on around you. Yeah. And, and, yeah. and again, I talked earlier about the people who are taking care of you at a store. Show them courtesy. Mm -hmm. They're there. I mean, just I, I don't know. God bless them because mm -hmm. they're dealing with a lot of people who sure. may be very anxious during the holidays. Right. So right. be patient and, and thank people. And anxiety is heightened over the mm -hmm. holidays. Thank people. Please. Yeah. Thank yous. Even in the parking lot. Slow down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. It'll be okay. That is great advice, Kimberly. Thank, Thank you. you so much. So now we know how to eat properly and how to shop properly. So there's no excuse. No excuse. But it's all about making people comfortable around you. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank Kimberly. you very much. You're a great guest with lots of really good information. Thank you. And thank you for joining me today. And remember our affirmation for today is I am alert and conscious of how I am impacting those around me. This is Mary Ann Clyde for the Mommy's End podcast. See you next time.
Thanks for listening to the Mommy Zen Podcast. For nuggets of encouragement and strength throughout your day, follow Marianne on Twitter at mommy underscore zen and Facebook at facebook.com slash mommy just breathe. Also, you can join our mailing list, leave comments or ask questions by visiting mommy-zen.com.